Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Bootstrap tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how to use a nav bar or navigation bar on our web page using Bootstrap. So, first of all, what is a nav bar or navigation bar? So, whenever you open a web page, you will be able to see some kind of a navigation bar at the top like this where your brand name will be there and some category or uh, navigation options are there like home about or some other options and you have this drop down menu here and when you collapse your web page like this it should become responsive so you will be able to see this button and when you click this button you will be able to see your menu item like this here also so let's see how we can create this navigation bar in bootstrap so i have uh, deleted all the content from the body and right now i have nothing inside my body here so i will uh, start from the scratch here and first of all to add a navigation bar we need to add a element called nav like this and we need to include this class called navbar and this navbar minus default uh, is one kind of navigation bar uh, there are different uh, you know uh, version or different types of navigation bar and default is uh, just one type we will see uh, some other types also and this navbar fixed at the top uh, we will see uh, let's add this uh, element to our body first and i will just remove this and you know what this container does i have uh, explained you in the last video what is the purpose of this container right so let's save it and let's run it on our browser so this will add this kind of navigation bar on your browser okay now this default uh, navbar default is uh, the feel or look and feel of this uh, navigation bar here okay and navigation navbar fixed top means that your navigation bar will be fixed on the top even when you scroll down you will always see this navigation bar your content will uh, be you know uh, up and down but this will always uh, you know visible to the user now there is there are some options like navbar inverse and what this does once we refresh the page you will see uh, this navbar uh, changes to some dark theme okay so if you want this dark theme you can use navbar inverse okay right now i will use this default and when you uh, do instead of fixed here you can use static and what this will do is whenever you scroll down your uh, web page this nav bar will also scroll and it will disappear once you go down uh, to see the content right so for fixed it will be always visible and for static it will be scroll down okay now in order to add this button uh, which i was talking about so when we collapse this and we will be able to see this button uh, let's add this button to our navigation bar okay so inside the container we need to add this button and this button we can add it like this so i will just add it and explain you what this button is doing in a moment so just add this button element here and type of uh, this element is button itself you will add a class called navbar toggle okay so this uh, represent navbar toggle and uh, we add two more things here one is data toggle which will reference to collapse and data target which will be navbar collapse and this we are going to create okay so once we explain this web page we want to see these items and this uh, 
collapse and nav bar collapse will reference to these items uh, once we expand our web page so uh, for now let's uh, leave them but uh, we, we are going to use them in uh, the later section okay so let's save this and let's see how our page looks right now so refresh the page and when i collapse it it will add this uh, button but we are not seeing any uh, bar here three bars right like these so what we need to do in order to add these three bars inside your button you need to add this span so this is the recommended span you need to add which is span class sr only which is screen reader only and then you can give any name for example toggle navigation and then you can add this icon bar icon you can say to your uh, button so when i refresh this page it will give me one bar okay so one uh, span gives me one bar and i'm including icon minus bar uh, class here okay and if i just paste it two more times then when i refresh this page i can see three bars like this so this is my nav bar toggle or button okay now we want to add our brand name for example first and then the items here on the right right so to add the brand name just below this uh, button item you can add this like this here and what this is going to do is it's going to call this uh, nav bar brand and you can give any reference to your uh, you know whenever user clicks your uh, this item here this will uh, reference to this web page for example www.programmingknowledge.org right something like this okay and this is the title which will appear there okay so once we save it we are going to refresh our web page and we can see this uh, programming knowledge brand name here right now our brand name is added now we want to add some navigation menu items okay so to add those menu items first we add a div tag and if you remember i was talking about this collapse toggle uh, data toggle and data target we are going to add this now so just below this uh, brand name item here you add this div element just below this and this will add your navigation uh, you know collapse so you see this collapse will reference to this one and this nav bar collapse will reference to this right and inside this uh, div element we want to add a unordered list which will be aligned on the right so we will add this line and just close this unordered list and what this is going to do this is going to align your list on the right hand side so nav nav bar minus nav nav minus right and if you do it left it will align your uh, nav bar to the left and inside this unordered list we need to add some list item so for list item you can uh, add this element called li okay and you need to include this class called active and what this is going to do is it's going to make your menu item active and we will see in a bit what effect it adds and then you can add a h ref here and right now i'm going to add a blank 
reference or this hash or otherwise you can uh, add your website name here slash home so this will reference to the home page of your website and then your home menu name so just home for example and thus add this reference and then just add uh, and this unordered uh, list items sorry okay and what this is going to do let's save it and let's refresh our page and this is going to add this home menu item here 